and to give them your wise counsel, your excellency, sir. Thank you very much, CDF. Let's take our seats. <clears throat> Mr. Deputy President, Ministers Present, Chief of our Defense Forces, Vice Chief of our Defense Forces, Service Commanders, General Officers, Senior Officers, Officers, Commanders, and Troops of the East African Community Regional Force Contingent. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I'm Jambo. It is an honor to join you on this momentous ceremony. And as a nation, this is a proud day for two reasons. First, we are sending a signal to the world of our commitment to perform our obligations by contributing to the achievement and maintenance of peace and stability in our region. Secondly, we are proud to flag off a national contingent whose readiness for mission is at, at its highest ever. Our national and regional community holds tremendous potential to unite hundreds of millions of people in quest for shared uh, prosperity. It is our aspiration to unlock this potential and usher our people to a future of possibility where hopes abound and dreams have a real chance to come true. At the bare minimum, every society deserves the opportunity to experience peace and safety and every nation desires to guarantee its people the dividend of security and stability. Without peace, human freedom is in jeopardy. Without stability, all potential is deferred in perpetuity. And without security, opportunities remain a mirage and unattainable. This has been the unfortunate story of our dear brothers and sisters in the Democratic Republic of Congo. And no country in the world has been so cruelly robbed of such abundance of promise through conflict, insecurity, and instability. As neighbors, with various interlinkages, the destiny of DRC is intertwined with ours. We all have a stake in a stable democratic Republic of Congo, and its security is an obligation that we commit our best effort to achieve. The DRC has made encouraging steps to stabilize, create national capacity to provide security services, as well as guarantee opportunities for its citizens. The country remains, however, burdened with serious challenges, and I believe that we owe a brotherly duty of solidarity to meet DRC halfway and stand together until the job is done. The situation in Eastern DRC remains fluid at the operational and even at the diplomatic level. For years, peace has eluded the DRC on accounts of insecurity caused by armed groups and rebels who continue to target security agencies and civilian populations. This state of insecurity is of tremendous concern to humanity and to our region. In light of the invitation by the DRC, the deployment of a regional force in pursuit of peace and the activation of the East African Community Regional Force for stall conflict is therefore legitimate, urgent, and necessary. I am confident that you understand 
the immense nature of the mission you are about to embark on and the expectations that come with it. Your resolve to always execute your mandate, often in unforgiving situations and conditions to the highest standard, has earned the Kenya Defense Forces accolades in missions abroad and ensured the same back home, thereby making Kenya a beacon of peace freedom and hope under the banner of the East African Community Regional Force you are confronted with the responsibility of demonstrating the African Union's clarion call Africa solutions to Africa problems you are also charged with delivering this noble mandate to the highest professional standard. This standard guarantees the protection of civilians, facilitates the achievement of sustainable peace, and creates a conducive environment for establishing democratic space underpinning regional and national prosperity. I have keenly followed your rigorous training and general preparations in the build-up to this deployment, and I am satisfied that you are up to the task. I have been taken through the motions this morning by General Nyaga, who will be the overall commander of the East Africa Regional Force, and I am confident that you are well prepared to undertake this noble, necessary uh, national duty to protect not just our region, but all its people as well. I have assured the CDF of the government's firm support to the Kenya Defense Force in the excellent work you continue to do for our country in various fields. These noble and patriotic tasks include peace support operations like the Africa Transition Mission in Somalia, the United Nations Force Intervention Brigade in the DRC, as well as the upcoming East Africa Regional Force uh, for defending our collective borders. We are committed to do our part in providing resources to equip you to shoulder this solemn responsibility of defending our country and contributing to regional and international peace and security. I take this opportunity to ex express gratitude to all the commanders and troops of the Kenyan contingent assembled here today, and I also thank everyone who has worked so well and tirelessly to make sure that the team achieved the highest level of mission readiness. On behalf of Kenyans, I want to assure you that I have done extensive consultations on this deployment, and in the last 48 hours, I have talked to the Secretary General of the United Nations, who has given his tacit approval of this mission. I have talked to the Chair of the Africa Union, who also concurs under the Africa Union Peace and Security Council that this deployment is necessary and is important for regional peace and stability. I have had extensive consultations with the East African community leaders, starting with our chairman, the president of Burundi, President Museveni, president of Rwanda, and we have all agreed in what accord that it is our collective responsibility to keep our region and our continent safe, and it is our responsibility to confront criminals, terrorists, and all negative elements, including armed groups that terrorize our region, denying us the opportunity and the possibilities that exist in our region 
for prosperity, for growth, and for development. In that extensive consultation, I have come to the conclusion that it is necessary, it is important, and it is urgent for us to make this deployment. And I am confident that the men and women in this force have been prepared adequately to be able to discharge their mandate, to carry our Kenyan flag, and I have been careful when I was handing over the flag to the commander that you have our support and our prayers. I also thank everyone on behalf of the people of Kenya, and I want to assure you that we do not take your role and contribution for granted, including the gallant sacrifices you embrace for our benefit. I encourage you to be our iconic ambassadors abroad as you have always been, and to continue embodying the noble values of bravery and patriotism in your mission. Always demonstrate the professionalism, integrity, and high sense of duty that is associated with the Kenya Defense Forces. In so doing, you will faithfully reflect the mission's values, rules of engagement, and ethos in delivering your mandate to the best of your ability. And I assure you of my support, the support of the government of Kenya, the support of the people of Kenya, and we are all assure you of our prayers as you discharge this noble duty. Let me also confirm that together with our brother, the president of DRC, we have agreed on the framework under which Kenya is going to work with the DRC forces for the purposes of disarmament, for the purposes of ensuring that civilians are protected, and for giving a real chance to the people of DRC to work with their brothers and sisters in the East Africa community and in the wider context, context of the Africa continental free trade area and our continent so that we can unlock the huge potential that exists for shared prosperity within and between our countries. I dare repeat that we will not allow armed groups, criminals, and terrorists to deny us the potential for shared prosperity and the real chance of growing both our investments, our development, for the sharing in trade, for the mutual benefit of not just East Africans, but the entire region of our continent and humanity as a whole. With those remarks, therefore, I have the honor to officially flag off the Kenya contingent to the Eastern DRC and wish you good luck and God's blessings as you execute the mission's peace, support mandate under the East African Community Regional Force. I would request each one of us, all of us, to be upstanding. <clears throat> so that I can also say a prayer for these men and women. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, before you and men are men and women from the Kenya Defense Force. They are on a mission to protect humanity, to protect mothers and children and people, our brothers and sisters in the DRC. We pray for them, Heavenly Father, as they go to execute this mandate, that you will go ahead of them, protect these men and women, give wisdom to their commanders, 
give them favor, even as they work with other forces and as they work with the people of DRC. You have promised us, Heavenly Father, that you have promised us your peace that goes beyond human understanding. We pray that, Heavenly Father, as these men and women work to create stability, peace, and security in DRC, you will give them the know-how, the knowledge, and most importantly, protect them. We commit ourselves and them and their families to your safekeeping. Even as they live today and the days to come, we pray for them, Heavenly Father, because we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, and may the good Lord bless you. Asante Nisana.